We've left the casino and we're back on the road. We're gonna be heading into Flagstaff. We're done here in Camp Verde. Did what we needed to do. Exit the traffic circle onto West Middle Verde Road. In 200 feet at the traffic circle, take the first exit onto the I-17 North Ramp to Flagstaff. Which was to get the tow vehicle. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-17 North. And John is driving that back. We don't have the In tow package feet, for it yet. Turn left onto the I-17 South Ramp to Phoenix. Turn left onto the I-17 South Ramp. Such a beautiful place here. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-17 South. Okay, so we have about 53 miles till we hit Flagstaff. It is gonna be a gradual climb here on 17 instead of like 89A where it's very, very steep. And I have to figure out what we're doing either. Hey, you missed the exit. Hey, you the exit. Either go back to the property or. Oh my God. Hey, what are you doing down there? Yeah, oops, I went the wrong way. I was too busy recording. There's an exit up here that flip will flip us around. Roger See what I get for recording and trying to drive at the same time? <laughs> and I thought you were a multitasker. I usually am, but there was a lot going on. I was trying to record, my GPS was talking, y'all were talking. Well, we did receive a lot of packages, and I'm going to go ahead and unbox and open some stuff. Ready to open some of this stuff. I ordered some lights to replace. Over my bedroom, one of the lights has gone out, and instead of having two different lights, because I couldn't find the same exact one, I just went ahead and ordered two more of those lights. These are actually rated for fluctuations. I think... That's why I have so many LED lights that are going out because of the fluctuations. 
in the voltage. That happens with DC. Anyways, I bought two of these and they're rated for, uh, I think, 100,000 hours, which is awesome. And they are good with fluctuation, so it won't affect these. These can go, I think, from, what is it, 5 volts all the way up to 19 or 20. So, this will be good. Alright. Those are those two. Alright, next package. Jeff actually ordered these for us because I don't have Amazon Prime. So, he said that he would order them and they got shipped within two days. And we were able to pick them up at a locker. So, thank you, Jeff. I do appreciate it. And they're the really flat, streamlined lights. They have multi-lights on it. You can go, I think one button is for like a natural white light and then the other one is a warm white light and there's also a fade so you can fade them or dim them sorry that's what I meant we got four of these so we're gonna use one in the bathroom I have a puck light in the bathroom now but it's doing the same thing this light up here is doing it wants to come on sometimes and sometimes it's just it doesn't come on or it flickers which is annoying so yep we got two packages of these. These come in two per package. We got two packages. All right, next is a box that we're gonna open. Not exactly sure what this is, but we will find out. Probably shouldn't be opening it on the table. I don't wanna shake the camera. So it's saying it's an angel with a solar cross. Hmm. Maybe something Jeff ordered? I have no clue. So I do not remember ordering this. I better check and see if this is even my box. Okay, so that, sorry. I just unboxed uh, Sue's package. Oops, sorry, Sue. Hope you didn't want to do an unboxing. That's what happens when you share mailboxes. Usually it's listed on the box of what it is. So, well, I'll have to give that to them. It was listed on the box, but it was listed on the shipping. Right, box. it wasn't actually on the outside of the box. It was inside the plastic in an envelope. So, oops. My bad. The next thing is to replace these puck lights here. I had at one time, as you can see that one is going out, I had at one time cut these plastic bowls and turned them upside down just to give it a more decorative feel. I bought them from the dollar store, but I'd ordered something much better. So with the puck lights, you have to completely take the puck light out, cut the wires, and then rewire, which is annoying. You can't just change out a bulb. So I do not like the way those are built. You'd think that they would put some kind of connector so you didn't have to cut the wire every time, but there's not even a connector. You just have to um, cut the wire. It's a hard connection, so you can't unplug it. It would be great if you could unplug it and then just change out the fixture, but you can't. So that's why I'm changing them out. This is what I bought. These right here are the same as those. I thought there was a bulb because it showed a bulb, but I don't see any bulb. There's just a strip there, if you can see. So that's annoying too. <laughs> so, yeah, when I looked at the description and everything, there was, I swear I saw a bulb there that I could change out. But anyways, I can still wire these in. And when I wire these in, I'm going to put a a connector there that comes apart so that way I can just wire in some new connectors and then just plug it back in because the problem that I'm having or that I don't want to do is that if you have to keep on cutting the wire that wire is going to get shorter and shorter and shorter and then there'll be a problem because you won't have any wire to splice into so that's why I'm going to add connectors but yeah I don't know why they make LED lights that you have to replace the whole fixture. It just makes no sense. It seems wasteful to have to replace the whole fixture. But 
I'm also very crafty, so maybe I can come up with some other idea if these start to fail as well. Hopefully not. I did buy four of these as well because there are four lights on each side and I'm going to replace them all. Or I should say we are going to replace them all. <laughs> He's over there being quiet. And that's going to do it for all the LED lights that I've bought to replace. I've also bought all new fixtures for the bathroom and we're probably going to get around to that tomorrow too. Just going to have an RV day where we fix stuff and get everything done. Now, I did receive a package from a subscriber. Thank you so much for sending us. I haven't been able to get around to it. We were traveling and I wanted to film it when I unboxed it. I didn't just want to open it up. So I put it up in the storage and honestly, we've just been traveling and busy and I haven't gotten around to it. I'm awful. Thank you, Linda. To RV friend, I am very sorry I have not sent out this package. I've been very busy. I get it. <laughs> so she wrote us a letter here. I'm going to read the letter. I appreciate the kind words. So she says, keep up the good work on the videos. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. So a lot of this looks like it's for Mumu. She got Mumu some old Roy treats. Mumu used to actually eat these but I've switched her over to an organic diet but she still loves them so I will give her those on the air DJ Aja oh that's so cute <laughs> I think that's a Christmas ornament it is a Christmas ornament maybe she got it when I was buying all those ornaments and stuff that's cute thank you and then it's just more treats for Moo Moo those might be a little too big for Mumu. I'll test them out. But if Mumu doesn't take them, I'm sure Lucky will be glad to have them. <laughs> John shakes his head yes. So, yeah. A lot of people think Mumu is bigger than she really is. She is a small dog. Not an extra small dog, but she is a small dog. And I believe these are for medium to large dogs. So I don't know if she could get her mouth around it. Maybe if I cut it down a little bit, she can work with it. But if not, we do appreciate it. And Lucky does too. Also, Milk Bone Minis. Those are awesome. Thank you. Ah, I have so many panda bears. Let's see. Not sure. I think it got, maybe because it was packed in the box, it looks like... It got disfigured a little bit. The hair did. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's so cute. And more treats for Moo Moo. She used to love these, actually. Uh, there was a scare going around about treats from China that um, were actually making dogs very sick and stuff. But I don't think there's any recalls going on right now. And if I'm not mistaken, this was one of the brands. But... Um, I think the recall's been done for, it's been over six months, so, they're good. Okay. Aww. <laughs> That's so cute. Look at that. Huh. Let's see. I think it's a knife. It, I used to have 20-20 vision, but now in, when it's lit dark, then small, small writing I have problems with. I'm not sure what the heck this thing is. H and H, the brand of high quality. There's a little screw thing here. Oops. <laughs> Oops. I'll pick that up in a second. But I still don't get what the. I don't know how to open it, but it's a locksmith kit. A locksmith kit? <laughs> it's like one of those Chinese finger traps. So John was saying it was a locksmith. Smith kit. I guess I'll figure it out. I can Google it online and see exactly how to use it. I've never used one before, so I have no idea. I'm clueless when it comes to this. Oops, there were a few more things. I think they're stickers. Panda stickers. Yeah, they definitely remind me of panda stickers. Hold on, let me open it up. Let's see. Oh yeah, look it. Mean Grumpy Panda, Happy Dancing Panda, Political Panda, we want you. 
<laughs> they're not all panda stickers, but there's some cute ones in here. I'll take a look at them. There's a lot of them in here. So, and then also, uh, uh-oh, did I get your attentions? <laughs> Lucky's getting out of bed. Mooma's not a big toy freak, but it seems like Lucky likes it more than she does. She is staring at me, though. She's like, what is that? Do you want to try? I wonder why it's like it has plastic inside. Oh, maybe just set for noise. Okay. Do you want to try it? Mooma, you want to try it? No? Come on. Yeah, she doesn't. She's just. She, I think she thinks she's human. She's like, is that a dog toy? I don't play with those. Wait, Lucky. Lucky, you want to try it? He's like, I'll take it. You want to take it? What is What is it? He just wants to lick it. And another one. Wait. Oh, there's a squeaky. <laughs> Well, that does conclude all the packages. I want to thank you so much, Linda, for sending us the care package. That was awesome. Mumu will enjoy the treats and what Mumu can't enjoy. Lucky will. I think John had it figured out. So, like, this metal piece is wedged in here, I'm guessing, as a lock mechanism. Uh-huh. Like, you seriously have to pull it out of there. Oh, wow. Oh. And, and it has the little lock keys. Mm-hmm. And then this one locks it in place. Oh, nice. So that way you don't get locked out of your vehicle anymore. Or I can lock pick any lock. There you go. <laughs> Guess I won't have any privacy in the bathroom anymore. No. <laughs> well, there's no lock on the bathroom anyway.